everyone. Eddie here again with Infinity Toys OKC back with another episode. One of the things that I get asked a lot is, hey, can I do a uh, spotlight on some of my personal collection? So today I'm going to do a spotlight video on one of the toy lines, toy lines that I do collect, which is the Filmation's Ghostbusters. So I'll be right back after the intro. Welcome back. So today I'm going to showcase or spotlight my Filmation Ghostbusters collection. And of course the Filmation Ghostbusters are not to be confused with probably the more popular and well-known real Ghostbusters toy line. Um, obviously you can tell that, I mean, that the logos, uh, everything are completely different. And again, I believe this is probably the more popular, the more well-known toy line of the two franchises but uh filmation ghostbusters i believe premiered in what 1986 and lasted about 60 episodes so not too long but still it was a great uh cartoon series that i, I love to watch and in you know, my collection was this is actually a pretty recent collection that i started and it really began with these two uh scared stiff and haunter believe it or not i had found these at a thrift store and of course had to snatch them up. Uh, both are you know, in decent condition. You can see some wear and tear there, some creases, but you know, here's the back of Scared Stiff. Again, 1986 by Filmation, so uh, really cool. Haunter, same, you know, same thing, uh, pretty beat up condition. His hang tab is torn at the top, but still, still sealed, still good looking and you know, I was definitely very shocked and very, very happy with the find. So, once I picked those two up, my next one was Fangster. And this guy, I remember him from the uh, cartoon series. Really good, good uh, character. And he actually is, uh, this one, I actually have two of them. And this one is actually in very good condition, I think course has the uh, Toys R Us price tag there again I think these these price tags they just add another level of character to these vintage uh, carded toys and again there you go the back good guys bad guys ghosts and villains and like I said I actually have two of these fangsters this one is actually for sale in my eBay store uh, it's a little bit wavy but still sealed, um, still in, in good condition, but again, just has a bit of the creases and the bends, and again, card is wavy. So those are those. And then these three, I, I really like it. By the way, trying to find any sort of protective case for these Filmation Ghostbusters, um, next to impossible. I have not found anything that fits it perfectly. I found these cases, uh, I forgot what the heck they were called. Uh, they were the turtle shell cases. And yeah, you know, as you can see, there's still some room from top to bottom, but still, these were the only ones that, that would fit uh, the cards. So we'll start off with the two pack here. Of course you got Belfry, the, the, the uh, bat and piglet, and he's the only good guy that I have in my collection. And of course, you got Brad a Rat down there, the, the uh, uh, Prime Evil's little uh, sidekick. But this one was a really good one that I was able to, to pick up. I believe it was just through eBay, got a great deal on it. So of course, I had to snatch him up. Um, there you see the back of that, but yeah, poor uh, Belfry over there. Just greatly, greatly outnumbered by all the evilness around him. Over here, we got the Mysterious Mysteria. Uh, this one is a really good card. As you can see, she is still unpunched. Um, good looking card, clear bubble. Uh, fantastic bubble, I should say, because there's no uh, cracks, no dents, anything. And again, still sealed and a terrific looking card and 
there you go. There's the card back to that. And of course, the last guy is the evilest evil villain himself, Prime Evil, the leader of all the ghosts in the spirit world. Uh, this one is a very good condition card. Um, looking through it, I really did not see much edge wear, age wear. The bubble is clear, completely sealed, no cracks, no dents. Uh, and this, I actually contemplated getting graded. Haven't pulled the trigger on that, but I actually thought about sending it in to get it professionally graded. And of course, there's the back uh, of Prime Evil. But really, really cool toy line and a really, uh, I think, unappreciated, not very well known because of the real Ghostbusters toy line. These guys right here. But, you know, something that, that I enjoy collecting and I've just only started and uh, got to find some uh, good guys. Again, need uh, poor Belfry over here. Need some, need some allies. So, there you have it. This is going to be part one of a spotlight videos of my personal collection. Um, I am more of a Masters of the Universe, uh, vintage Masters of the, of the Universe collector. So I'll be sure to start uh, doing some spotlight videos on that collection. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't already done so, please, please subscribe. And other than that, be safe, keep collecting, and again, even with all these cool new toy lines out there, just remember that vintage rules. Take care.